Today our groceries run the gauntlet. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Today we're answering a really important question. What are the strongest foods? Now, you may not know exactly what that question means. Strong food, like strong tasting? No, strong like strong. I know about strong <sighs> foods. I buy nothing but strong foods. Uh -huh. You gotta have a thick skin if you come into my house. I'm a mean cook and I curse at all my vegetables. No, I'm not talking about emotionally. Don't worry about it. Listen, you've already clicked. This is gonna be fun and important. It's time for What's Stronger Than Friendship? Food, obvi. Now which food is stronger than the wonderful music in Glee? Welcome to the food flogging zone, and I am not a fan of Glee. I'm not either, really. Uh, we're grabbing the strongest of foods and we're putting them through physical strength tests to see just how much they can endure. Yeah, we're basically torturing food. Awesome! Yeah. The mythical inventioneers have built a series of medieval torture contraptions designed to test their strength, and in a several, in, over the course of several rounds, we're gonna be doing a crush test, a stretch test, and a smash test. I would call that a few rounds. I always Se thought several was four or more. Okay. Who am I, though? Well, there's three. In each round, we're gonna both pick the item that we think will perform best in that particular test. Points escalate each round. The winner gets an autographed photo of the strongest man alive. I guess I'll add that to my collection. <laughs> <laughs> Since we're pushing these poor foods to their limits, today we're actually making a donation to the Los Angeles Regional Food Bank in their honor. Our first three foods are a hazelnut, a walnut, and a red pomegranate. Nut. pomegranate. A big old red nut. Now, uh, these are the result of extensive preliminary testing by the crew to determine what could be the strongest food given this particular test, a crush test. Okay, and so we've got to draw these swords to see who has the power of choice to choose the first item. Mm -hmm. uh, and since I dinged your car door with my car door this morning in the parking lot, sorry, um, I'll let you, uh, I'm sure it'll come, it'll buff right out. Uh, well then buff it out. Okay, <laughs> you can go first. Okay. Hey buddy. No, you don't, you don't huh? that feels like cheating. Ha it feels like you're Saying looking- Saying hey buddy you're, you're looking to for a something. dead crusader? Okay, here we go. Scoop up. <laughs> okay. All right, I think that this is a little- Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, come on. <laughs> what? I mean, what? I, but I didn't need to do the actual longest one. Talk about wasting a long one. Okay, I guess I get the power of choice. All right, what do you choose? Uh, wow, okay, not the big red nut. I know that. But is it the hazelnut, which is small and strong, or is it the walnut, which is a little bit bigger, but has like a very woody, thick exterior? And this is until it cracks. I think I'm gonna go with the walnut. I'm picking the walnut. <sighs> okay. You know what, I'm a big fan of the pomegranate. I don't know, I actually, th so it's until it cracks. Well then I gotta go with the uh, hazelnut. Hazelnuts are hard. Okay, in every round we're gonna take the third thing that we neither of us actually chose and we're yeah. gonna crush it too! Yeah, let's decimate this pomegranate. But we're not gonna way. crush it, we're gonna bring in a man of mystery. It might be Mad Dog Lucas, but I can't tell, he's got a hood on. Mad Dog Executioner, here to handle the weights on our behalf. Wow, he looks like a boxer getting ready for something. All right, all okay. right. Uh, let's go Load it up, man. Oh, he's gonna start with the big one, 25. Yeah, just go ahead and kill it, man. Now a pomegranate is kind it's of a, a, it's sort of a hard fruit, but it's so hollow and it's just got those little. Are you, are you, are you gonna be okay? <laughs> you got an eye patch. Okay. Can't see that well. You've got death perception issues right now. All right, so twenty-five. Nothing. You know it, what I'm saying? Like it's, it's so hollow on the inside with those just the little juicy little bits. I mean, well, it, this thing, I wouldn't say it's hollow. I'd say it's full of juicy little bits. But those juicy little bits don't have any strength to them. You ever try to hold something up with juicy bits? <laughs> you know, oh, so that's 50. This thing's, this thing's gonna make it, I, I'd be surprised if it makes it past 75. <laughs> what are we up to, 105? Hey, you have to do the math too. 105. Now we're 110. Come on, come on! Okay. Nothing? I don't even hear a creaking, man. 115! We have chosen unwisely. 120, what? There's no way a pomegranate is stronger than a walnut. 125? Should I blow on it? 
Stick your hand under there. 127 and a half? 130, 130 pounds? We're out of weights, Lucas. This is like a prepubescent average boy. All right, he's got sandbags. How much do those weigh? 25 each. Okay. So, so you get to, so you're gonna drink going up it? to 155 nah. pounds. Can you pull my hood back? <laughs> yeah, all right. This is 155 pounds. Oh, oh, oh. It's settling. Huh, huh. It's not cracking though. Huh. 155, now we're going all the way to what would this be, 180? 180 pounds. Oh, oh there you go. Nope, okay. Nope, nope, nope. It's 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 on the back side. Oh yeah, no, there it no, is. What, dude, I'm about to say, dude, did you not I started, I'm gonna pull in for the pomegranate. No, the, yeah. the whole thing split. All so right. it was somewhere between 155 and 180. <laughs> dude, that means you could have stood on that thing. You could have stood on the pomegranate and it wouldn't have bust. That's gonna be my thing moving forward. Hey, mommy, it's the guy that stands on the pomegranate. Well, crap. Let's give him a little money, honey. Okie dokie, my little bit of hazelnut is in there because I chose second, but now you still, still I, have, I have, win between I have the lots two of, of hope. I mean, All it's right. a strong little nut. Pile it on. I've never bitten successfully into a hazelnut. Never tried. 25 pounds, try to crush my nut. Don't look at me with that one good eye. Whoa, whoa, it's it's actually it was giving quite a lot just on the shake there. Oh, okay, that's a strong nut. You got a strong nut, Link. Well, it's I mean, I, I'm not. What do you get to twenty? You gonna get to twenty five? You wanna go big? Well, not hey you. If you know something, I, no, you do it. You can increment up. Go with the ten. Go with the ten if you want to. I don't know why. Because you can always put a twenty five on top of the ten. I don't I mean I don't know. I don't works. love what this means for my choice. He's already just adding 10. 30, okay, we're at 35 pounds, and that hazelnut has doesn't even know it's alive. You know what I'm saying? So it's not thinking. It doesn't anything. know it's about to be crushed. I don't, you're not giving me confidence just going with the little tent. I could switch if you want. No, we gotta, I mean, just trust me. Okay, we're trusting you. Please. Okay, so we're up to 45 pounds, and that nut's holding. Okay. Yeah. Okay, now he's just going to the fives. No. You know what? I'm gonna go for a 25. Okay, all right, 45 plus 25, 70. 70 pounds? You think, well, Oh, okay. Well, hold on. Hold on, that wasn't even additional weight, man. What happened? It, it crushed my nut. Just like Your nut got so flat. Your nut is gone, man! Sorry about your nut. Your nut's completely disintegrated, and I don't even know how to calculate what happened. Well, we gotta call it crap. All right, so it was 25, 35, 45 plus starting to put on something else. If 45 I... plus is my score. Yeah. Take these off, let me see my little, Dang, little what's left of my hazelnut. Not as strong as you would think. I mean, a, a toddler can step on one and break it. 45 plus pounds, can I, can I be of assistance? Hey mommy, look at that toddler standing on that hazelnut. Give him some money, honey. What? No, I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. This is like a medieval torture device just watching you guys try to take that thing look off Look at my hazelnut. Dang, hazelnuts just disintegrate. My poor little hazelnut. Does it smell good? <laughs> okay, we got my walnut under there. Go ahead, talk with the 25. I ain't bashful. Now we know I mean, there's no way this is gonna beat what happened with the pomegranate, but will it beat me? You don't That's know That's what that. I'm thinking. Listen, up until about 100 years ago, walls were made out of walnuts. That's why so, they call them that? Yeah. A wall can support a toddler. Or a boy. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to my walnut? <laughs> Look at your walnut! Look at your little broken walnut. Oh my gosh, okay. that was so pathetic. So less than 25 pounds. We were 100% wrong in every assumption that was made in this round. I was a little bit more right than you, I get the point. <sighs> okay, so we got corn cob, a gourd, and a cassava, and we're gonna draw and have these. Not draw and quarter them, but. Yep, because there's only. Pull it in two different directions. Only two halves. Now you get the power, you get the, 
The power of choosing the power. I'm of letting fate the sword. decide this when it's close to me. <laughs> and then fate will decide that this one's closer to me. Okay. Ha, 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 ha. So you get the power of choice. Uh. All righty. Um, now we're going to rope these things up and pull them apart, but it's not going to be, you know, we're not pulling it along its longest axis. Right. It's more of like a, a sheer it's force. I mean, like this. Like, a we're not, sheer we're not force. pulling it this way. Pull me, pull me. No, it's like this. It's much easier gonna, to break a person's arm like it. this. You pull that way, I pull this way. Right. So it's like we're going to shear it off. So and not I do the, think that not the corn cob. Yeah, because I can break a corn cob like that. I do it. That's how I eat all my corn. Pass it around to the family. Daddy breaks the corn. The cassava. That's like a root. That thing looks like a piece of wood. You can just you could no, hit, hit a home run. I with. think it's like a carrot. I think it, it'll it'll snap apart. I'm gonna go with the gizzard with the gourd. Have you seen these things dry? You can you can make them an instrument. And then birds live in them. Okay, well. The gourd is me. If you're going with the gourd, uh, I'm definitely not going with the corn. I'm going with the cassava, which I feel pretty dang good about. I haven't even touched it yet, but I feel good about it. All right. All right, this corn on the cob has been a bad boy, Lucas. We're gonna count each crank so as to compare each item. Give it one crank. If this thing works well, Daddy might have to ha install it at the dinner table. One. Okay, it's it's digging into well, the kernels. It went right. Kernels. It went right into those soft kernels. Two. Whoa. Okay. It might it might just you know it might just get the corn off the cob. Four. Three. That was oh, four. That's four. I can count. Counted three twice. Okay. Oh. Okay. So the beginning of the fifth crank. Yeah. Look at that thing, man. All How's right. that for daddy break corn, huh? Okay, we've got my cassava, which is actually a tuber from South America, yeah. known to make tapioca. Yeah, let's make some tapioca right now. Give it a crank. One, One two, two, three, three. four. Oh, oh. It's not even as strong as corn. <laughs> yeah, look at you, man. You loser. It's kind of like, it's like a coconut in there. Daddy might have to break tubers now. <laughs> That's a gorgeous setup, man. Oh, wow. Get it? All right, so my gourd is in place. One crank. Two, Two. cranks. Three cranks. No budging yet. Four cranks. Oh, gosh. Go okay. slow. Five cranks. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Four and a half cranks. <laughs> So it's, it's, it's about the same as a freaking About the same as corn a corn, but that's better than a cassava. Oh, look at it. It's juicy. Well, you can't make a birdhouse out of it now. Sorry. But you did get the point. Actually, two points. Yep. Okay, before we explain what this contraption is, we want to remind and you And it's scary. Good Mythical Fridays are back. On the last Friday of each month, one random store item will be discounted by 40% for the whole weekend. And society members, you get an exclusive sneak peek of what that item is each month. So make sure you go to mythical.com and check out what item is featured today. Ooh. All right, this amazing food torture device has two huge blocks that are temporarily suspended we're going to test some blunt force trauma impact, <laughs> pendulum impact. It's going to be huge right here on either a coconut, a mon what is that monstrosity? A jackfruit. A jackfruit and a pineapple. Uh, and you pick first, my friend. Mm. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Longer Damn. than yours. Damn. Longer than yours. Pokey, pokey, pokey. Okay, you have the power of choice. I am not going to get You should any lose closer. it for saying pokey, pokey, pokey. I believe he should have at least two points deducted for that. The coconut is a little hollow in the middle. It's like a big walnut. That thing's going to We've learned that. That ain't going to I'm not going to choose that. That jackfruit looks like a freaking animal. It's jacked. You know what? It's got jacked in the name. I'm going for the jackfruit. Okay, that's a strong choice. I'm definitely not going to go for the coconut. The pineapple. I feel pretty good about a pineapple. I, every time I really hit one, out of anger, I haven't gone through it. It hurts you. Yeah. Oh. Coconut's in place. We're gonna bash it. We're gonna count the number of times we have to bash it in order to kill it. I predict one bash for the coconut. I'm All right, execute, executioner. Okay, release the hounds. Oh! oh! Yeah! My goodness! What 
a splash! Did you see that? There's some coconut that flew over there. If that was somebody's head? Oh. There was milk in it. <laughs> There's this. milk of the coconut in the coconut. Oh, look at this. Okay, I, you know, looking at this thing, I feel pretty confident. It's got this protective shield on Armor, it. Armor, yeah. You know, okay, let's see what happens. Your champion is dangling, Rhett. <sighs> Come on, a, pineapple. Pep talk. You're gonna be better than the coconut. The pineapple with the coconut. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> you know what? We're still good. Hold on, is this a, is this a rotten pineapple? Come no, on, guys. No, we are not. That thing just totally was decimated instantly. You wanna suck on my pineapple stalk? No, sir. <laughs> All right, I'm feeling good. Mm. My jacked champion has entered the arena. All it's gotta do is get more than one to take, take a, uh, the top prize here. Anything that's strong enough to replace meat in vegan meals yes. is strong enough to bring you and your pineapple down. I'm, I'm ready. A I'm a jackfruit barbecue fan. Can we make jackfruit barbecue nachos with this later? Maybe. Oh! <laughs> oh it. You know what I mean? Like, yes! it's like it didn't even know yes! it got hit. You know what? <laughs> it didn't even know it got hit. Let's hit it again, because we got to destroy this thing. All right, hit it. Oh, oh Thompson! I got to get a jackfruit vest. Dang. Hit it again. All right, go. <laughs> Still nothing. I mean, it's hey. not even dented. Hit it again. Hit it. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh, you know what? We broke the machine. We broke the device. Oh, <laughs> man. Oh, you got a double. Oh, oh, it got a little bit of a dent in it that time. Release. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Try it that way. Nope, just spun. You know what, screw it. Execute it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Come on, go. bring it over. Bring it over here. Put it back on the... That's... There you... Oh, wow, he's so angry at it. It's not... That's what... Look at the thing. This is why... Look at how fibrous the inside of this thing is. Ladies and gentlemen, Ugh. we have absolutely determined the strongest food. Uh-uh. Really? I, I feel like it's going to be angry at me after... No, it's anyway, good, it's man. Good. You should get some of that. It's a freaking jackfruit. And I win. What do I get? An autographed photo of the world's strongest man. What is Mark Strong, famous actor. <laughs> autographed by Chase. Yeah, we couldn't get in touch with Mark. <laughs> oh. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. I'm Tiana. And I'm Sebastian. And we're in Boone, North Carolina. And, and it's, it's time, time to, to spin, spin the Wheel, Wheel of, of Mythicality. Dink it. And sink it. Boom. Illegal chips and boom. Mm -hmm. Click the top link to watch us discover which heavy thing is heavier, like an elephant or an RV in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Wheel of Mythicality is gonna land. Take advantage of Good Mythical Friday discounts every fourth Friday at mythical.com.